Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at solving this problem over here. What problem, you ask? But I tell you what, I've really been happy with the Creality CR10. Uh, however, I have noticed one problem, and I also notice on the forums, others are having similar problems as this. So I whipped up a solution, but what is this problem you're asking? Well, it's right there on the screen. So. Uh, from time to time, this thing decides it wants to tip over, especially when the spool holder, if I get pointed here, it is uh, actually uh, rather full. It likes to tip over and fall on the machine, and that's a little bit of a problem. Also, its feeding is a little bit of a problem, so I whip these guys up. So I tell you what, uh, well, but before we do that, I, I, I did these in OpenSCAD, so the code and stuff will be over on the OpenSCAD site. And so uh, you can head over there and get it. I also have these up on Thingiverse, too, so if you just want the STLs, uh, you will have to print them on the Creality. They are rather large, obviously. Um, but before I put them on, let's take a quick look at a time lapse of them being printed, and then we'll come back and we'll see them actually on the uh, control unit. So uh, let's take a quick look at the time lapse. Okay, so here we are back. We've uh, installed it. Now, one of the things, I left this a little bit, uh, uh, maybe a little bit loose to say, uh, but what I, and the reason for that is I put in, uh, and I'll hit up in the corner, I just use Velcro dots to shim these out because uh, one of the things, this isn't a uniformed 125 millimeters across, so it kind of uh, pinches a little bit so what happens with those dots is they actually take up some of the space and I've also put a dot on the bottom of the uh, uh, cups so what happens is as you can see when I push this you know no longer will it, it pull over I'm pushing actually quite a bit of force on it so uh, again it's going to come up and bump against these pieces and I have them obviously braced here so that's for my buddy RJ May because I didn't put those in there he'd let me know so uh, those are in there, and then what I did is I just added these tool cups, uh, basically just as that as tool cups, uh, as, as part of the outrigger. And so again, it does really doesn't want to slide. I'm putting a fair amount of force against it, because again, with the um, stuff on the bottom, now you could put more. There's yeah, because it does have a gap between the bottom and this mounting bracket. So if you wanted to put some rubber bra uh, rubber mounting pads on the bottom, you could also do that. So you can do a couple different things with this. Um, also, I don't think you really need to have two. I just did two because of aesthetics. I like the way it looks and have, you know, for my tools and the cup and everything. And then I've got a cup back here and the kind of spatula and everything fits into it. And I can put stuff back there uh, because I think one would actually prevent it from tipping also. So. We'll see how this works, and I'll keep you guys posted, but I wanted to share this with you. It'll be out on Thingiverse. Uh, the code, if you want to make changes to it, will be out on my OpenSCAD site. I will have the link below uh, for that also, so go out there, scam that if you want. And uh, hey, we'll see you guys in the next video, because don't forget to subscribe, swag shop, comment below, and we'll see you later. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.